All right. Hello, everyone. These Snake Rocks here. And, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to press the space bar. <laughs> Whoops. But, anyway. Today, I'm playing a game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I have no idea what to expect here. I, I've never really heard anything about the game. I've thankfully not had anything spoiled about... Anything major spoiled about it, anyway. Um, but... There are only two things I know about this game. Number one, it has taken the internet by a storm. I don't know if it was recent or if it's just been going on for a while because I'm, frankly, quite out of the loop when it comes to this stuff. Uh, but number two um, is that uh, this game gets pretty fucked at times, from what I've heard. Uh, I've talked to a few friends about this game uh, just a couple hours ago before I decided to download it because it's free on Steam. Uh, and they told me to, they're just telling me to play it, um, I, like I said, don't know what to expect, so we're just gonna go straight in here, um, there was a warning about children or the weak of heart or something like that, but I didn't read that. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience while playing this game. For content warnings, please visit ddlc.moe slash warning.html. Well, <coughs> I am not going to do that, uh, because, I mean, this game's on, this game, this game, I literally got this game on Steam, so if it's on Steam, how bad can it be? It's not like I'm visiting the dark web or something. Anyway, I'm stalling. Let's cut to the chase. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Everything about this game just sounds super suspicious. Oh, hey, we got nice music. Also, this is the uh, first visual novel I've ever played on this YouTube channel. Um, and it might be the first visual novel I've ever played, period. I might, if, I don't know if Crush Crush or Honey Pop count as visual novels, but this is the first visual novel that I've played in my YouTube channel. So, Let's see what name I'm going to pick. I'm just going to pick Snake. I'm not talking about Metal Gear Solid Snake. I mean, Snake is literally the Snake Rocks. It's 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 my it's my it's my username. Shut up. Okay. Um hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I don't have any of those kinds of friends. My friends are all on the internet. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, ah, I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Snake. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine, but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, if even if you want to. <sighs> Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. <laughs> God damn. It's been a while since I've used my fucking voice like this. Uh, give me a moment while I just uh, get some uh, electrolyte drink mixed up. Oh jeez, it spilled all over my hand. I have, I have liquid on my hand. That's totally not gonna end up happening in this game, I bet. By the way, Snake, have you decided on a club to join yet? There is still liquid. Ah, fuck! No! Okay, 
I think I have the issue mostly resolved. There are still liquids on my hand. Or like liquids on your fucking face in a few seconds, you fucking piece of shit. Anyway! Uh, have I decided on a club to join? Yes. A club? Oh, I can hit space. That's easy. I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Me IRL, seriously. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I thought I would join a... Actually, I, in real life. In real life. Um, because I'm in college at the moment. Uh, I thought I would be joining a club this year. But <laughs> guess how well that turned out with my borderline social incompatibility. I went to a uh, sort of DIY slash maker club. I went to one meeting there. And then I pretty much only showed up like maybe once or two, once or twice more after that. Um, so I don't, I think it's safe to say that I haven't joined any clubs this year. Anyway, did I say I would join a club? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Ugh, sorry about that, I just had dinner. And then I rode a scooter back to home. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average uh, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Um, change those to music. And you've got me in a nutshell. Wow, I can really relate to well, myself in this game. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before col- Well, I'm in college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. I'm perfectly happy on my own, thanks. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a N-E-E-T in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the fuck is that? Let me, let me, uh, let me urban dictionary that real quick. But I die at you- Ah, uh, fuck. But I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I get... Le Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Jesus Christ, I haven't recorded in a while. More than that, I'm surprised to even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Ugh. Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> what is what is her what is her club? Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna get real good in a few minutes. Eh Meanie Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. Okay. So at least I can see where the name of the game comes from. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why don't you care- why do you- why do you care so much anyway? 
Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new me- Oh my fucking god, Sayori. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Ugh, don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Okay, transition. And thus, today marks the day... What? There's no music. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Okay, I'm gonna save right here because this might be a turning point in the game. Okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be great. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door? Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Snake! What a nice surprise! Oh, hello, who are you? Welcome to the club! Uh... All words escape me in this situation! This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh... Oh, that's a... Take, 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 I, I take a sip of my electrolyte water every time I can relate to this protagonist situation. Oh, boy. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! S sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. Oh, sounds like a bit of a sun sundere. The girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear then turns back towards the other girls. Ugh! God! I've got like the burpees today. Anyway, this is Natsuki always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Snake. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monaco was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely <laughs> out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Snake. We made room for you at the table so you can sit down next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? So it's just the five of us here at... Looks like one. Wait. Sayori, Yuri, um, Monica, Nat Natsuki, I think was her name. Yeah, it's just the five of us. That sounds like the kind of club I'd like to go to. Don't have, like, loud noises all the time. Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off 
the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. IDIOT! Anyway. <laughs> eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe, but not for y you, you know, you, dummy, baka. All right, all right. <laughs> I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Well, this is a cold drink, but... Ah, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Ah, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant, I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I like, um... Oh, there was this mint tea. There there was, at, at my high school, there was like this tea station where they had like six different teas. And there was this one mint tea that I really liked that I would make every so often. I forget what it was called though, um, but I think I'm going to be visiting on my winter break, so... I don't know, maybe I could uh, try and figure out what it is again, so that I could get it for my room. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Oh, how am I going to explain this? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club- Oh, so Monica's the president. It's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. <laughs> God! Don't you hate it when you choke on your own saliva? How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, yes. Last... Ah, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events like a nuclear attack. <laughs> Hiroshima 2 is right all around the horizon, am I right? <laughs> anyway. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like, 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 um, ah, oh, fuck, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any novels on my, on my bookshelf. It's all just books about chemistry and nuclear weapons, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. 
but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Snake, what kinds of things do you like to read? Um, I have several books about chemistry, a couple books about nuclear weapons, I've read The Andromeda Strain uh, by Michael Crichton, I've read Prey by Michael Crichton, I've read The Cobra Event by Richard Preston, I've read Contagion by Robin Cook, I have read... Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga... I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Okay, that was quite loud. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and... Reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's been it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. I really should not have drank that pib over dinner. I that might be messing me up a little bit. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! AND GIVE THAT BACK! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayuri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? I used to be pretty good at poetry. Not anymore, though. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Oh, God, burpees. Ugh. No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. 
Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Snake? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining a club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. B but I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Snake... Y you all... <sighs> I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Now that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh... Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Snake, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Snake, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori... Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, hello. It's time to write a poem. Pick uh, words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Hello. Uh, okay. Let's save really quick. Return. And what I've been told by my friends is that these poetry minigames are uh, the best uh, endpoint. So, <coughs> I am going to <coughs> complete... <coughs> complete this mini game and then I'm gonna end off the episode um, I'm gonna get a quick look at the time really quick and if there is time I'll probably record a second episode right after this one get both of those uploaded to YouTube and then uh, you know we'll be pretty all right from there but anyway um, we got these cute little stickers jumping around on my page. Okay. Uh, let's pick some words. Comfort. Um, peace. Uh, let's see. Oh, I get it. So I'm picking the words which uh, appeal most to me. And that gets me set up with one, which, with uh, each of them, I think. Nature. Um... Ooh, infinite. DEATH! INFERNO! <laughs> oh, those are good. BOOP! <laughs> BOOP. I don't know if any of you have ever watched Ruby, but... 
I like to think that's a reference. <laughs> Somebody from one of the neighboring rooms might have just heard me yelling loud. Intellectual. Um. Ooh. This is kind of a hard one. Misfortune, hop, explode! Um, friends. Uh, mouse, wonderful, covet. I kind of want to see what happens if I just select covet. Because I... You know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything, that would be speculation. Starscape. Treasure, bed, dream, waterfall, variance. Universe. Fear, extreme, grief, disaster, lust, sparkle, uh, poof! Um, no, not poof. Electricity. Electricity is a cool word now that I, suicide, oh great. Um, peaceful, play, uh, contamination, headphones, um, color, ooh, adventure. Entropy, cute, sticky, hopeless, sunset, journey, judgment, lazy, games. Uh, I feel like I should be paying attention to these down here, but I'm just looking at which words might uh, appeal to me. Time. And there we go. That is the poetry minigame completed. So I'm going to save really quick. Uh, return. And I'm going to end off the episode here. So, um, if you want to see more Doki Doki Literature Club, well, I don't really care because I'm going to be playing through this whole game anyway. It seems interesting enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end off this episode here. Uh, as per my friend's recommendation, um, looking at the time, it's about 9 o'clock, so I might record another episode right after this one, but, uh, until then, uh, I still have all these burpees from that dinner I ate, but, uh, I have been these Negrocks, I am way out of practice doing this YouTube thing, but <laughs> I have been these Negrocks, I will see you all later, thank you all so much for watching.